This video will walk you through setting up the Reveal Plus integration. To begin with, enter the license key we've given you for the Intruck GPS if you haven't done so already. I'm going to copy the license here, and then to switch back to ESC and go to Help, About, and License. We'll paste that in to enable the Intruck GPS tracking. Click OK to finish that. Once that's done, we want to go to your dispatch pull-down menu and choose Enter Technicians. This will give us a list of all the technicians and their ID numbers. We can print this and that will help us set things up when we go to Reveal in a little bit. Close out of that and now make sure that you're on your server computer and bring up the ESC Connection Server Administrator. I'm just going to double click on that to bring this up. And once I do, I'm going to expand the settings section. If we've done everything correctly with the license key, we'll now have an option here for Intruck GPS. Select that and enter your credentials. These credentials should start out with WCF and then be followed usually by something uh, that references your company name. Put in your password and click apply. Make sure the system status turns green, then close the connection server. Now it's time to set up the reveal side. To do that, open up the browser of your choice and go to reveal.fleetmatics.com. When the website displays, log in using your normal email address and password. Do not use the WCF account at this point. Click login and wait for the dashboard to display. Once you're fully in Reveal, go to your Logon pull-down and choose Admin. Here we're going to set up a list of drivers and vehicles. We'll begin with drivers by clicking on the driver list. Since we don't have any vehicles currently, we're going to create a new one. When creating a new driver, the most important thing is that the driver number matches the employee ID or the tech ID in ESC. You can get that from that report we printed earlier. Right now I'm just going to go ahead and put in a first name and a last name as well. This is optional, but it is helpful. I'm going to choose save, but if we had a list of drivers we could also do save and continue and continue entering those drivers until we're finished. Once we have our drivers in, we'll now go back to our login pull down and choose admin one more time. This time we're going to select a vehicle list. Now your vehicles should already be set up and revealed, but we do need to go ahead and modify them. So all we need to do is take one of these vehicles and click the modify. And just like the drivers, we need to make sure that the vehicle number is going to match exactly what we have in ESC for the technician number or the employee ID. In this case that's 0014 and we can change the name at this point as well. I'm just going to call this Ed's truck and we need to assign a driver to this. So click on this drop down here. You can choose from the list of drivers. Click assign and then save. Just like before if we had a list of vehicles we wanted to go through we could do save and continue and make that happen. Now that we've verified that our vehicle number has the same ID as our employee in ESC, we've got a vehicle name on there and a driver assigned, we're ready to go to the map. On the map, you're going to have to do a one-time setup by coming over here to Add to Map and making sure Work Orders is checked. After you do that, come down to Advanced Options go to the work order tab make sure show assigned is checked off the statuses are set to all types are set to all the start date is today and we're going from a scheduled start of midnight to 11:59 p.m. save those settings and the integration is complete 